saw body lotion of all kinds. The devil instructed these men to sell them in their shops. These are beauty lotions and perfumes that attract demons. Many are under the influence of demons because of lotion and perfume. Demonic bondage happens as a result of contact with places and objects. What's good everybody? Welcome to part two of I Met Lucifer in the Second Heaven, my shocking powerful testimony. Now part one, it was talking about the bars and the clubs and how a lot of people actually like to go to bars and the clubs and they just demonic. They're very demonic. This one is going to be talking about the cosmetics. This is for the females. Uh, like I said, Lucifer, Satan did not want me to get this video out. Every time I tried to film this video, it was very much spiritual warfare going on in the last two days. But we serve a mighty God and God will always see you through because God wants this message to reach people all over social media. Because like I said, I didn't been in the world. I didn't have millions of dollars. I didn't seen a lot of things. I didn't had a lot of fun. It wasn't really fun. It was all deception. I was miserable. I was lonely. Nobody really liked me for who I was. They liked me for what I have. And I'm here to tell y'all, these products, this world is all one big deception from the enemy. If you ain't getting it from Jesus, if the source ain't coming from Jesus, man, you in a lot of trouble. So I might just start it. We're going to react to it. Like I said, the video is 29 minutes long, so I'm doing different segments on my YouTube channel, IG. And like I said, this one is about cosmetics. So uh, the dude that did this video didn't even want to show his face on social media because it's a lot of spiritual warfare. And he got pulled up to the second heaven. Y'all don't know what the second heaven is? That's where Lucifer and all his dominion thrones are at. You know, then Jesus is at the third heaven. We got the the um the first heaven is earth. So number three heaven. So yeah, let's play this video right now. When I reached the market, the Lord said, ask the people for this particular street and number. When people told me the street and number, I went to that address where there was a big shop. The Lord asked me to enter the shop that was in that address. I saw all kinds of cosmetic products that were contaminated by the devil. The Lord said, you see these products are all bewitched and they are causing control and manipulation and divorce in marriages. The Lord said, people don't know that these products cause destruction and they are buying them and applying them. The devil is causing destruction. Lotions are also causing spiritual husbands to come to women. Then I saw the devil saying to the audience, I have another video that I want to show you so that we can control the world. And the devil projected a video of people walking in the street, especially women. When we were watching women walking the street, the devil said, I want to show you what we want to do in the world in order to control and neutralize Christians. We were watching a video of a woman who was walking the street. She was wearing a loincloth yet she had no underwear. As we were watching we saw that her loincloth fell to the ground by accident causing scandal. Men who were walking the street were quick to see her nudity before she covered her shame. At that very moment whoever saw the lady's nudity came into bondage and manipulation of the spirit of sexual impurity. The devil told the audience, this is the end time trap and strategy we are going to utilize. I want to trap the world in sexual impurity especially the so-called Christians. We must trap them in the bondage of sexual impurity. The devil projected another image of ladies dressed in miniskirts entering the church and they took their seats in the front row. As the pastor was preaching they were moving their legs and spreading their legs. When the pastor saw their nudity he got distracted. The devil told the audience, this is how we shall control the church. Sexual impurity and fornication is the way. The devil projected a video of intercessors praying in groups but among them were a witch that he had sent to infiltrate them. When these intercessors were praying, this witch pretended to pray, yet he was doing incantation and magic prayer. Man, that is crazy, bro. I'm going to stop it. That's for another video. What goes on in the church? Y'all see this. The enemy is out seeking who, seeing who he can devour like a roaring lion. Yet, I used to be one of those victims of just lust, perversion. Every girl that was okay looking, I just wanted to be the man. I just had to have that girl. And it's the same with the guys. And it's the same with the girls. The girls see a guy with nice muscles and they just think he, you don't know what that man is. You don't know how the devil is using them. Y'all see this, the lotion, the makeup, 
pray, pray, pray. See, a lot of y'all are going to be thinking I'm crazy, like I lost my mind. But the real believers that's woke, y'all know what's up. We living in the end times. You know, we don't know when Jesus is coming back. But I'm here to tell y'all, man, the devil got so much stuff going on. There's so many people blinded. There's people believe in God for breakthrough, but yet still in the world. It's people believe in God for so much, but yet they can't let go of this item. Makeup is an item. Some girls literally wake up morning to night. Prettiest girls in the world gotta have makeup on. You know why? Because the devil had infiltrated their mind, telling them that they cannot live without makeup. And they thinking it's just fashion. But the moment you take that makeup away, it ain't just fashion. It ain't just woman cultural. It's your idol. God said, do not have no other idols before me. So now you're praying to God. And God the whole time got his head turned because he's not hearing your prayers. Because you idolizing yourself. And you're idolizing your beauty. You're idolizing your makeup. And you thinking you don't have no idols. But yet the whole time the idol is cosmetics. Wake up. The devil got tactics to keep us bound for our prayers so we can answer. You've been praying for five years for this prayer. You've been giving up. You come back. I'm going to believe God for something new. God is waiting on you to give up the idol. That's something new. He wanted it all. So that's why he told me to do this video. Because people need to know the truth, man. The truth will set you free. If you get mad at this video, that's a manifestation. That is demons in you. And that's for the guys. Be careful of these girls that's dressed provocative all you see on ig is naked women they don't even know they got the jezebel seducing marine spirit kingdoms all up in them and same with the guys you see guys showing up their muscles you know what i'm saying it's, it's 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 the same cycle you heard what the devil said this is the second heaven this is not on earth this is in the spirit realm this is the devil having a meeting and he said this is how we're going to control the christians because more than likely, that's who he's after, the Christians. So if you're not a Christian watching this video, you're probably already bound to some type of sexual immorality. Whether you're just porn, whether you addicted to having sex to beautiful women, whether you feel obligated to always seek attention. Same with the girls. Whether you feel like you got to take a nudity picture to get a thousand likes, you're bound. This is the trap that he's going after, the Christians. But more than likely, if you're not a Christian, you're already bound and he's not worried about you. This is real, bro. I've been through it. I, I sex did not make me happy. After you get your little your little rocks off, you're back in this. You're back in a depression. You're back needing a drug or drink. Do you understand why people even go out? It's a trap. The enemy knows. All right, we're gonna give him this girl. She's gonna break his heart. And then he's going to break her heart. Then they're going to need liquor. And then they're going to need to go back to the evil altar, which is a club. So they'll never be free. Now that's a soul tie. And then you don't know how many bodies that man had. That man probably had a thousand bodies off one girl. That girl could have had a thousand bodies. Now you could have been pure. You could only have sex with one person. But you took upon 1,500 men because of that one guy. And where it, it's reversed. You know what I'm saying? It's like a web. So now your mind... It's all over the place because you don't know who you had sex with. And that person probably did it with somebody that's nasty. And now you got to go to God to get that prayed off. Of. But a lot of people don't know that. And the devil is running rampant in your mind. You're hearing these thoughts because that person was in black magic or witchcraft. That happened to me. I'm not crazy right now. But somebody liked me so much they put witchcraft on me. You got people out there crazy like that. And these witches and warlocks, they don't even know they're dabbling into witchcraft. They, you don't even know if that handsome dude that you're so obsessed with, with nice muscles, he's 6'3", six, 6'0", six or however perfect how you want him to be. Jury, you don't know what he's doing. But yet you're willing to give your body up without even knowing him for longer than five years or one year or three months. You just looking at the opportunity for the females that watch this video. And for the guys, you just want the street credibility. You don't know that that girl got a curse on her whole family, like Kim Kardashian family, that everybody should partake in if you had sex with that woman. Yet you're cursed that you would never find love. And now you got to go to church and get that broke up love. Or that it might be the spirit of poverty. Because you know whoever you have sex with, that's an open portal. So whatever they generation is struggling with, death, jail, you take upon that. That's why God said you can be fruitful and multiply, but marriage is so serious. Because when you get married, y'all are one in the spirit. So if you give your body to somebody else, you take upon all their generational curses. 
So that's why you just started getting depressed out of nowhere. It wasn't just a spirit. That whole family was killing itself because they had a generational curse and you partaking her because you thought she looked good. She acting happy, but at home she crying at night every day. Y'all wake up, man. Y'all girls out here. Y'all are beautiful. Y'all don't need no makeup. They be witching these products. Beyonce just came out with a new hair product. Beyonce is a witch. She openly comes out with this. She actually speak deaf. Taylor Swift speak deaf incantations. Y'all don't know what incantation is. That is in the spirit realm. You're speaking deaf on people. They're doing these things to obtain money to go to another degree. But yet we're idolizing these people and we're thinking that it's just a famous product. But you're putting on this stuff and you can't go nowhere in your life. You're trapped. You're bound. But yet it's these cursed items in your home. I'm out, man. It's Joel TV, man. I love y'all. I can tell y'all from experience. I had it all. I had it all. Why was I depressed? I wasn't born depressed. I played sports. I was always happy. Why was I wanting to commit suicide if I had it all? Because that was the conviction of the Holy Spirit telling me to get out of that. And it was the spirit of depression in me. It was demons in me telling me to kill myself. And I'm telling y'all this now, man, because you're looking at somebody that was a millionaire, multi-millionaire. I was more major successful on YouTube. I did not fall off. I gave it up. I chose to live right with God because I wanted to get out of that lifestyle. I wanted something better. I wanted to see all these testimonies I watched on the 700 Up Club or everywhere on the internet. Is this stuff true? I grew raised in church, but is this really true? Is this God really true? Can you answer my prayers? I want to find out. So that way I could show the people like y'all, this is true. Whether y'all think I'm crazy or not. I'm willing to get humiliated. Maybe that's my call. I don't know. But I'm willing to take the risk. Because we're living in a time where people are just dying. And they go to church. They don't know. They're just doing it off religious reasons, tradition. No, I want to know. I want to see. I want to know what this Jesus God is about. And that's why I gave it up. And the moment I gave my life to the Lord, it felt peace. But then I had this overwhelming conviction still addicted to sex so that made me depressed and i did drugs and that's when i died and seen hell god had to show me hell to really scare me out of that some people got to go through that 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 fear and that fear scared me so bad everybody said it was fat no overdose i know what i seen i didn't astral project i died and i seen hell and thank god that i actually seen hell i don't like talking about it but that was enough to get me to be like okay i'm really living for the lord so if you want to give your life to the Lord, all you got to do is believe that Jesus died on the third day and was raised again. And he is the true living God. He's the son of man. If you believe that, if you repent, turn away from your sins, ask God for forgiveness. You is welcome to the kingdom. Go get delivered. Go into a church home. This stuff is real. People are demonic. You got some people that's just demonic. Like they're not always doing it for money. They're just doing it for demonic powers and just devil worshipers and just want to pray on stuff. You got people that's praying over these items because they work for the enemy and they do get money. So we live in this stuff that we don't know because it's in the spirit realm. Second heaven, astral projection, incantations, witches and warlocks in your family that don't even like you. Wake up, y'all. I'm out. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. I'm telling y'all, man, this stuff is realer than y'all think, man. I'm out. Peace.